Hey everyone, we are Mike and Tess Play, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red version! Last time, we went through all of Viridian Forest, and Pi evolved into a Butterfree. Yes, directly from Caterpie. We skipped the, the Metapod part. Well, there was a Metapod part, but we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, there's all kinds of not very serious Pokemon trainers, like bug catchers and hobbyists. But Pewter Jim's Brock isn't like that, not one bit. Oh, Pokemon. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is that here? Weird. We're in Pewter City now! There's flowers. There are flowers. It's a stone gray city, though. Oh, no. Do you know what I'm doing? Yes. That's right. It's hard work. Wait, what was he doing? <laughs> we'll never know. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I'm trying to repel the wild Pokemon out of my garden. I mean, sure, sure. <laughs> it's sure, whatever. It's sure, whatever. <laughs> but hey, let's see what. Did you just doing. walk over those chairs like they were part of the carpet? They are. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's telling you that you can give a Pokemon a status condition, and it makes it easier to catch. But yeah, the you can't sit down yet. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Can't so you, you just go into people's houses and walk over their chairs. Yes. Good. Yes. That's exactly what you do. Also, you should always go to the Pokemon Center. Why? Are we healing? Well, yeah, we're still a little beat up from the forest. Ah, uh, yes. All of yes. the poisons. All the poisons. <laughs> uh, and... Gotta do it. Jigglypuff! Just a little song from the show. Oh, it's really I cute. I didn't mean to do it twice. No, ignore the poop poos <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> when Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. I do too. <laughs> but I think it's someone. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone. Scram. 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 Get out of here. <laughs> Wow. But yes, we are in the city of stone. Hey, a Pokemart! There is a Pokemart. Can we buy stuff? We can buy stuff. Are there things to buy? Um, nothing we don't have already. Okay. Except for repels. Ooh. I'll probably buy some of those before we go to the, the, to the mountain. Okay. <laughs> a shady old guy sucked me into buying this weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and it costs $500. Hmm. What kind of Pokemon would you have to buy? A really weak fish. Fair. It's Hello, like sir. a magic harp. We have not checked out the museum. You absolutely have to go. You have to go. Like right now. You like don't have right a choice. Now. Like he forces you. Yeah. I am not in control. No. If not, you're keeping up extremely well. <laughs> this is it, the museum. The pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. I mean, sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> we'll go into the museum. I just gotta... I always forget where this is. Um, and you found it immediately, so I mean... I always think it's just a straight shot, but then you have to, like, turn. Fair. But yeah, it's the museum! I wanna get in that door. We can't until later, but there's a thing there. There's a thing there? Yes, yes, it's $50 for a child's ticket. $50? Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what if you pay don't pay? Money, you don't get in. Oh. <laughs> but he should be grateful for his long life. He gets Never to see the bones of a dragon. Oh. Wow. I mean, Aerodactyl's not a dragon type, but it looks like a dragon. Okay. It, it, it's, it's a dragon-y thing. The blue Top's fossil. Is that a dragon? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So neither were dragons. Neither were dragons. So this no. old man is lying. <laughs> she I wants want a Pikachu. Pikachu. Sir, I have one in my party. Do you want it? I'm not gonna use it. You can have it. There's a space shuttle in the museum. I'm confused. It's just a space shuttle. Okay. Because this month they're running a space exhibit. Wow. And moonstones. Yes. Notice how they all look the same? <laughs> they do. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. But a color TV just so I can watch that news. Wow. It's true. It is true. 
didn't Doctor Who say that like that was the most viewed event in human history? I think so. <laughs> I believe it. It was yeah. said on Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm avoiding... now. I think it's the Super Bowl. I mean, every year, yeah. That's fair. Never end. Sit. Bow bow. <laughs> and again, hard to handle. <laughs> Can we trade in this game? We can. Yes, you need a link cable to do it, but you can, in fact. No, I mean, like trade. Like, do like are there people that are like, I'll trade you this for that? Oh yeah, we'll be doing all of them. Okay. Yeah. But let's see what happens. Oh, these have been stealing Pokemon fossils from Mount Moon. I don't know how you can steal from a mountain, but still. Weird. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. That's right. There's two people who will drag you places in this city. <laughs> Seriously. But we have to take you past the museum first. We have to go the long way. <laughs> Seriously, the long way. Yep. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Fortunately, he just gets out of frame as quickly as he can. That's good. We're not going to go take on Brock. We will. We had to talk to her about Clefairies first. Clefairy. Clefairy. Actually, no. We had to look at this this sign. Leader Brock. Brock. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. Rock solid. Rock solid. Honey. Yes. Hello. Hiya. Do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Okay. All right. Let's get happening. Let's get <laughs> happening. <laughs> the first Pokemon out in the match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Then tell us anything about the gym leader. But we know that Gary has already defeated him. Wow. Okay. And we also know that this is the easiest gym puzzle of all time. That's it. That's it. That's the whole puzzle. That's the whole gym. Got it. It's, Just it's walk the straight. First gym. Walk straight. Got it. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. I don't think so. We could probably, like, shake his hand at this point. <laughs> like, just reach out. <laughs> yeah, Camper Liam is, uh, kind of famous. But anyway, it's a rock type gym! All the Pokemon here are ground types, only three of the four are rock types. Oh? If you have a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur, congratulations. Hit your type move and you win. Yay! A whole gym. That's the whole thing. <laughs> If you have Charmander, grind to level 13, learn Metal Claw, and also catch a uh, Mankey. A Mankey? Just a Mankey, yes. Wow. Sand true. How many Pokemon is... Oh, okay, he has two. He has two. Okay. This one is not a rock type. Just ground. Got it. <laughs> I see that. But yes, I am using both here. Um, technically speaking... It's our... super effective. Yeah. <laughs> technically speaking... Um, Pi is also very good here. Butterfree is very helpful for this gym on everything but the final Pokemon. Don't put Butterfree against Brock's final Pokemon. This guy, though, just, yeah, Confusion would have wrecked him just as easily. But I want Ult to hit level 13. Fair. I see it. Yes. I see it happening. Yes. It might. <laughs> it might not. You never know. That does. Okay, excellent. <laughs> And he learns Water Gun! Now, this is going to seem strange. I'm not getting rid of Bubble, even though Water Gun is just Bubble but twice as strong. But Bubble can lower speed, and that may be helpful at a certain point. I have no physical attackers right now. I do not need Tail Whip. I'm not going to use Tail Whip. Okay. So, it doesn't really make sense, but... I trust you. I'm probably not going to use either move, but I know I'm not using Tail Whip, so... Darn! Light years isn't time, it measures distance. <laughs> he realized that during the fight. We taught him something. We taught him something. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. I mean... Sure. I, th I think in-game, yes, that is inarguable. Okay. Also, you can just, like, walk all around here. Wow. That's the badge. I always oh. thought that was a really cool little detail, but that's the badge we're going to be winning today. That's pretty cool. As we challenge Brock from behind! So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha! 
You challenge, you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. So if you haven't guessed it, this is a rock type gym. <laughs> <laughs> and with Brock, prepare to be severely underwhelmed. <laughs> Brock will start out with, yes, Geodude, a rock ground type with rock head as its ability. Geo Geodude's moves include tackle and defense curl. He doesn't have a rock type move, which means that Pi can just destroy him <laughs> with his mind. And you'll notice we're under level. I've fought every single thing and grinded, and we're still under leveled for the fight. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Not by much. Not by much, but still. But yeah. I mean, Geodude's kind of underwhelming anyway. But our <laughs> other underwhelming Pokemon. <laughs> um, so Brock's ace Pokemon is a level 14 snack. <laughs> Oh, Onyx! There we go. It's like, come on screen. <laughs> uh, rock, gr rock ground type with rock head as its ability. Onyx's moves include tackle, harden, bind, and rock tomb. Yes. Yes. I sounded questionable on that one. <laughs> yes. Um, rock tomb is the only scary move in the gym. It's a rock type move. It gets stabbed. It can lower speed. So anything that's bug, flying, or fire type will be in some trouble here. Just, just, just a little bit. So, so don't... can be scary snack if has Charmander. Yes. 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 But if has Mankey, <laughs> then no problem. Got it. And also if has Squirtle or Bulbasaur. Oh no, he did a bind. Oh no. How terrible. That's no. There it yeah. goes. <laughs> <laughs> just automatic. <laughs> As Bolt hits level 14. Fun fact. First time I ever played Pokemon, I started with a Squirtle and got him to level 14 before I got to Brock because I got lost in Meridian Forest. I was like six. Um, that makes sense. I couldn't figure out how to catch Pokemon because I couldn't figure out how to buy Pokeballs. <laughs> I had like six in my bag. I was like, how am I? How do I buy them? I didn't. I didn't realize that I had them. Got it. Again, you're um, six. Yeah. So I got to Brock. I had been told that. Bubble was good. So I used Bubble on Geodude. Then Squirtle hit level 15 from beating Geodude and learned Water Gun because mm -hmm. he learned at 15 in those games. And I said, Water Gun sounds better than Bubble. So I used it on the Onyx. Yeah, I beat him in two turns and, and my Squirtle evolved into a War Turtle immediately following the battle. Wow. <laughs> I took you for granted and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Boulder Badge. We got the Boulder Badge. Oh, yeah. Just having the boulder badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. Yeah. Money for winning. Is that a T? Uh, uh, no, HM. Yeah. yeah. Wait, take this with you. We get TM39! A TM technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. TM is good for one, only one use. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. Curls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. At the foe. I like that. At the foe. And if you talk to him again, there are all kinds of trainers in this huge world of ours. You appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer. So let me make a suggestion. Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. I think we can do that. I think so. Is our name I up thought. on the wall now? Oh yeah, your Pokemon champ material. Because now two trainers have defeated Brock. Is it like this season kind of thing, or like ever? Never made clear. Got it. Never made clear. So you'd think that after defeating a gym leader would be the end of the episode, and you're almost right. <laughs> but there's one more thing I have to do. Okay. To go past here. <laughs> Hello. Man with sunglasses. Oh, Mike. I think they're just regular glasses. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak i I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Running shoes! We get the running shoes. <laughs> Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Wow. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. You ready? Oh, there's a letter attached. 
Dear Mike, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Zooming! Wow. We're gonna move. Wow. We can re- actually move now! Yeah. As you see the arms, I mean, the arms from this angle look okay. From this angle, they're very quick. For From this angle, we're a tornado. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do it for today. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time for more Pokemon Fire Red. Tornado!